everyone. In this demo, I will show you how to deploy a PostgreSQL hyperscale server group in an Azure Kubernetes service cluster as part of Azure Arc enabled data services using a jumpstart automation. This demo will cover the automated process of deploying the PostgreSQL hyperscale server group on AKS cluster as described in the jumpstart scenario you are seeing here. By the end of this demo, we will have an Azure Arc data services environment with PostgreSQL, as well as an Azure VM that will include all the required client tools to manage the environment. Before jumping to the actual demo, let's review the automation flow in a nutshell. For this scenario, the automation is based on a combination of an Azure Resource Manager template and a couple of PowerShell scripts. Initially, we will deploy the ARM template that will create all the required infrastructure resources in Azure. Included in this ARM template is the custom script extension that will deploy a PowerShell script on the client tools Azure Virtual Machine. The first script is responsible for downloading and installing the required binaries to support the rest of the automation flow, and also to create the second script. The second script will execute upon first logon to the client tools Azure VM and we'll deploy the Azure Arc data controller as well as our PostgreSQL environment on the AKS cluster. To start the demo, let's go ahead and open our terminal. In my environment, I already cloned the Azure Arc Jumpstart GitHub repository and navigated to our deployment directory where all the code base for this automated scenario is located, including the ARM template parameters file that you will need to edit with your own values. Let's review. In this demo, I will not be covering all the template parameters, but as mentioned, all the required information is documented in the jumpstart scenario. For the template deployment to work, you will need to add your own SSH public key, the Azure Service Principal app ID and secret, as well as your tenant and subscription ID. Next, edit the values for the client tools VM and provide it with a name, username, and password. All Azure resources needs to go into a resource group, so let's go ahead and create one. Notice that the name of the resource group and its Azure region match the ones that you have in the template parameters file we've just edited. To deploy the ARM template, we will use the AZ deployment group create command. We will point the deployment to the Azure resource group we've just created, and we will use the ARM template located in the Azure Arc Jumpstart GitHub repository. This will take a few minutes, so we will come back once it's done. So now that the deployment has been completed, let's see what we have in the Azure portal. As you can see, a new Azure resource group got created. Here we have our AKS cluster, as well as the client tools VM. In order for us to log into the client VM, first, let's grab its public IP address and start an RDP session to it, using the username and password we added before to the ARM template parameters file. As previously mentioned, once you will log into the VM for the first time, the login script will start its run. The script will deploy the Azure Arc data controller and the PostgreSQL hyperscale server group on the AKS cluster and will then restore a demo database. Finally, Azure Data Studio will open automatically. It is important to mention that in this scenario, the Postgres service will be deployed in what is called directly connected mode. If the Azure Arc enabled data services are directly connected to Azure, then Users can use Azure Resource Manager APIs, the Azure CLI, and the Azure Portal to operate the Azure Arc data services. The directly connected mode experience is much like how you would use any other Azure service with provisioning or deprovisioning, scaling, configuring, all in the Azure Portal. Again, the script will take a few minutes to complete, so we will come back once it's done. Now that the deployment has finished and Azure Data Studio is open, under the Connections section, we can see the PostgreSQL environment and the daemon database that got restored, all in a fully automated fashion. Lastly, let's switch back to the Azure portal. Since we use the directly connected mode, we can now see the Azure Arc data controller resource in Azure. In this demo, we saw how with Azure Arc enabled data services, we can deploy PostgreSQL hyperscale server group on top of an AKS cluster using the jumpstart automation provided. Thank you.